Dr. Inge. Hey, Mr. Battle. How you doing? Good. It's good to see you. I was just practicing my ukulele. Wow. Wait, what are these things here? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Those are some homemade drums that I created just using some materials that I found around the house. Wow. Yeah, so these have our jars and they have uh, different colored balloons on the top for the drum head and then rubber bands around the top to make them secure. Wow, hmm. Well, it looks like you're playing a song. Do you mind if I join you? No, that would be great. You wanna play it on the drums? That'd be awesome. Awesome. Welcome to music, everyone. Welcome to music, everyone. I hope you'll have a lot of fun. I hope you'll have a lot of fun. This is the time to sing and play. This is the time to sing and play. I hope you'll have a great day. I hope you'll have a great day. Welcome to music, everyone. Welcome to music, everyone. I hope you'll have a lot of fun. I hope you'll have a lot of fun. This is the time to sing and play. This is the time to sing and play. I hope you'll have a great day. I hope you'll have a great day. Welcome to music class! Yay! You know, Dr. E, it's so cool that you made these instruments. I just so happened to have some things in my bag that I was hoping that we could make some more instruments with, if that's okay. Oh, that would be really great. Yes, I had this red spice container. It's empty, just lying around my house. I also have this green, it's like a cheese container and it has a green lid on it. And I have this around my house as well. It's also empty. And then I just so happen to have a container of beans and um, you know, they're just dry beans. And to make sure that I can get them out, I brought my measuring cup. Awesome. So are you gonna teach us and our friends at home how to create uh, an instrument with these? Absolutely. And this is probably one of the easiest instruments that you can make at home. I'm gonna first start by making sure that I have all my supplies. They're all here and I wanna make a mess, so I'm good. I'm gonna start by opening up my beans. Again, these are some dry beans. Do they have to be beans, Mr. Battle? They don't have to be beans. You can have some rice, you can have beans. If you have sand nearby, that works. Sand, if, okay. if you also have um, some little rocks, all of those things work. I even have friends who make instruments out of marbles. Oh, cool, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna open my container, make sure that it's nice and clean on the inside. Can I try along with you with sure, this red Sure, sure, sure. And you wanna make sure that you use your measuring cup because again, we don't wanna waste anything. I have my measuring cup that helps me measure food and I'm gonna put it inside my container. Now, depending on what kind of sound you want, you can add a little or you can add a lot. Today, I'm gonna to add two of these. And how do we know how much is in that measuring cup? Is it labeled? Well, this measuring cup is labeled on the bottom. My measuring cups at home sometimes have a label here and sometimes they have a label inside, but this one has a label on the bottom side and it says one fourth cup. Okay, so we have a quarter cup right here. Can I add a quarter yes, cup please to do so. my container with a red top? Mm -hmm. And you wanna make sure that you get it all in there because again, we wanna make sure that we don't make a mess. Okay, let's put the beans in here. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna use one quarter cup. That's perfectly okay. You can make your instrument however you like. Wait, 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 freeze. I think I just noticed a math problem. Dr. E used a one-fourth measuring cup to put a scoop of beans in his container. Mr. Battle used the same measuring cup. He filled the measuring cup up two times to put scoops of beans in his container. What fraction of beans does Mr. Battle have in his container? See if you can solve this word problem. If you guessed one half a cup, 
You are correct. Yay! Last thing we have to do is we have to put the lid on before we shake. Okay. Lid before we shake. Lid before we shake. And I'm going to tighten that on there. Twist it. That's my friend Harper. <laughs> and <laughs> and now that we have our instrument made, the only thing left to do is to rock out. Whoa! I love it. This is such a great instrument. I like to shake mine kind of like sideways like this. But I even see people shake it in a circle. Or if you want to get really fancy, you can treat it like a drum and a shaker. for showing us how to make our shakers. This is another great example mm -hmm. of a percussion instrument. Mm -hmm. And for those of you that don't remember, percussion instruments are instruments that we can shake or we can hit or we can rub. Now, Mr. Battle, this one doesn't really make a sound if I rub it. No, not exactly. Usually instruments that you can rub, they have ridges on them. And, you know, not today. We don't have any instruments with ridges. But it still is a percussion instrument. It still Because is a two out of three, I can shake it and I can hit it. So as long as it has one of those things, then it's a percussion instrument. Mm -hmm. Mr. Battle, I'm really glad that you brought your measuring cup today to help us to create our shaker percussion instruments. Mm because that reminds me how we use measures in music to help us know how many sounds or how many silences we can fit into a small segment of music. Wait, wait, wait. Are you telling me that you can measure music? You sure can, but we need a measure, and I'm gonna show you what a measure for music looks like, hmm. to help us understand how many sounds we can fit into that small segment. Wow. Now, friends at home, Mr. Battle is holding a measure right now in his hands. Can you figure out what shape the measure is? If you guessed rectangle, you're right. Give yourself a pat on the back. Yeah! So, this is a measure right now, and right now it's an empty measure. There's nothing inside of it. But I can fill it with different symbols for sounds and silences, mm. and that will tell us how we should play the music. Wow. So I'm just going to put a bunch of things in here. Well, I don't know if a bunch of things will fit in there. And just like a regular measuring cup that we use for baking, mm -hmm. Our, measure, our measures for music should also have labels on them. And I have some labels right here. In music, we call these labels time signatures. Oh, I've heard of that before. Yeah. yeah. Usually, it's one number on top of another number. Mm -hmm. But to simplify it today, we're just going to use one number. And we'll use the number four. This tells us that we can have four sounds or silences in our measure. Okay. That's easy. It is easy. So right now, let's see. I think because our shakers and our drums have different colored tops, that some of the symbols we can use today could just be colored circles that mm. match the sound. So I have this red shaker right here and I have some red circles. And how many red circles can I fit in my empty measure, friends? Four. 
Right? That's right, four. Because you said that number tells us something. That number, the time signature, tells us how many sounds or silences we can fit. So right now I have one. Can you count at home with me? Two. Two. Three. Oh, uh-oh. Three didn't want to stay up there. Three doesn't have a thing on it. Three. Mm -hmm. And, ooh, let's use this thing right here. Some of you at home might already know what this is, ooh. but if not, we're going to tell you about it. Four. So right now I have four things in my measure. One, two, three, four. four. And three of those things are the color red. So this tells me that I should play three times with my shaker. One, two, three. Dr. E, you know that this sound makes the shush sound. That's right, Mr. Battle. That is a quarter rest. And when we see this, this black lightning bolt right here, that means that we, we have a moment of silence. So can we try the whole thing together? Mr. Battle is going to point to each symbol as Dr. E plays. Here we go, friends. Ready, begin. One, two, three. Whoa. That was fun. Can we try it again? Let's try it again. All right. Ready, begin. One, two, three. Awesome. Do you think we can make another one? We have uh, this shaker, which is green, and oh, we have those drums over there that we have different still colored have tops. Those drums. So maybe this next one, maybe I can hold this. Sure, I would try love to try. All right, do you want to compose your own measure? I would love to compose my own measure, if that's okay. I would hmm. love it. So here are some of our symbols, our circles. The purple is one of my favorite colors. So I'm gonna go with purple. And I think I'm gonna stick with this rest that you talked about. That seemed fun. Hmm. Do one. Mm. Two. Mm. Three. Four. I want one shape. Okay, let's count to make sure there's enough. One. Two, three, four. Good job, Mr. Battle. <sighs> I feel good. You're a composer. I'm a composer. Okay, let's see if I can play this. I got my drum. All right, Dr. E's gonna count off for Mr. Battle and point. And you can, um, if you don't have uh, an instrument at home to play with, you could just clap along with Dr. E. One, two, ready, go. One. Mm -hmm. Two, mm. three, four. Let's try it again. Mm. One, two, ready, go. Mm. 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 Ooh, that was an awesome measure of music, Mr. Battle. Thank you. Quiz time! Quiz time! All right, friends. We are going to hold up a symbol that we learned about today and when we hold it up, please say what this symbol is called. Think about it. Yes. Mr. Battle knows. I know. Okay, Mr. Battle, what is this called? It's called a shush. A shush. It is called a shush. Ah. But do you know what the other name for it is called? Oh, uh. We go shh when we see it. It's sort of like money. It's like a, a quarter rest. A quarter Quarter rest. That's right. This symbol is a quarter rest. So mm -hmm. if you got that, friends, give yourself a point. All right. What is this? Oh, I remember it's something like this, but it's not this. It's a, it's a music cup. Ah, oh, you're so close. Ah. It's not a cup like this. It's a... You like measure the <gasps> measure. You said it. It's a measure. measure. So friends, if you guessed measure, give yourself another point. And our last one, the number that goes in front of your first measure. Sometimes there are two of them stacked on top of each other. 
right. It's uh, two words. This one's kind of tricky. Can you tell me the first letter? The first letter of the first word is the letter T. Well, I know that this talks about time and music, so I know that the first word is time. You got it. The first word is time. Um, time, time signature? You got it. Yes. Friends, if you get time signature, you get another point. I hope all of you got three points out there for getting all of those correct. And if not, don't worry, because you could watch this again and see if you get all three of those correct. Mm-hmm. Well, this has been really fun, Dr. E. This has been a lot of fun. Now we have some more percussion instruments mm -hmm. to play with. We have some drums and we have some shakers. We are just building up our band. You know, with all these instruments, I feel like we should sing a song. I would love to sing a song. Yes. What song do you have in mind? Well, you know, there's been a lot going on and, and I've been thinking about how music helps us to cope with those things. It sure does. So, there's an old song that I absolutely love called If I Had a Hammer. Oh, I know that song. Oh, you know that song. I sure do. It's a good song. So I figured we could sing that one. If I had a hammer, I'd hammer in the morning. This land, I'd hammer out justice, I'd hammer out freedom, I'd hammer out a love between my brothers and my sisters all over this land. If I had a bell, mm -hmm. I'd ring it in the Mr. Battle, you don't need a hammer and you don't need a bell because today we learned how to make shakers. Hmm. So I have a shaker and we have drums. Hmm. And Mr. Battle, as long as you are alive, you always have a song inside of you. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm going to make this part of my song then. Well, I've got a drum. And I've got a shaker, and I've got a song to sing all over this land. It's a drum about justice, it's a shaker of freedom, it's a song about love between my brothers and my sisters all over this land. It's a drum about justice. It's a shake of freedom. It's a song about love between my brothers and my sisters all over this land. Thank you so much, friends, for enjoying and having time with us today. I've had a great time. Did you have a great time? I had so much fun. Yay! I love this shaker and I love singing with all my friends. I hope you are, had a wonderful time with us today. And we'll see you all next time on the Online Music Classroom. See you next time. Bye. Bye.